Burgundy's reds are literally the rage right now. Everywhere I go, I see a burgundy handbag or like a burgundy outfit somewhere and I'm not mad about it. This trend, or can I say it's a trend? It is a seasonal color that comes around year after year. But if anything, we are really taking notice of it this year. I guarantee though that you have a lot more of this color than you think you do. So head into your wardrobe, bring them out and let's play dress up. <laughs> All right, we are kicking it off with a lot of thrifted pieces. And by that, girl, come on. I look like I'm in Fresh Prince. I feel like I just walked out of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I can see Vivian in this, like, jacket that I'm wearing right now or his coat. Ah, if only I was in the 90s sitcom. Oh, I love 90s dressing. So I picked up this cardigan coat, whatever you call it, in Paris in a thrift shop and... I'm very happy about it. It just looks vintage. It is. It looks like what it is. <laughs> so the easiest way that I like the pair is it has a lot of burgundy colors, you know, like the, the burgundies, the pinks, the mustard yellows and greens, the very darker autumnal colors. So it's a bit more, it's a less saturated. So that's why I like it. It's, it's cute. I like it. It adds some personality. So I decided to pair this with an all black look. So I have a black turtleneck from Uniqlo and I have these itty bitty black shorts that y'all yeah, know I love. These are the leather ones. I always bring them out. And because they're so itty bitty, I like to pair them with some tights. And I brought some loafers. These ones are my chunky loafers. I was told that these are not actually, not actually chunky, but I like the fact that they are square toe and they're a little bit more broader. So I feel like they balance out my proportion a little bit, that being a little bit wider. And this is the first outfit. If you have a statement jacket or statement like color, whatever it is, just put it on over an all black base. Um, that's pretty much it. So this is the first look. I like it. I love it. Do you like it or do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Let's move to the next one. So this next outfit that I'm wearing right now, I love. It's definitely one of my favorites. I featured it on this channel before. So yes, I'm definitely a proud outfit repeater and the top that I'm wearing is actually from H&M. It's just a really nice printed blouse. And I love the fact that it is, um, I love the colorful one. I've had this for years now and, and the prints. So by pairing it underneath this dress, it really just create that dimension and more interest because of the lighter color and also because of the prints rather than it just being like a block solid color. So the dress on top is from Uniqlo. I featured this on my channel, I think last year I got it and it's such a really nice basic. It pairs really nicely with so many different things. So it's really versatile and I just, I love the color again. So it's like similar like shades of red on the tones. So it does come off like a really nice monochromatic outfit. And these biker boots are from Zara. Usually I think I paired it last time with like a slimmer ankle boots. But I do really like the juxtaposition of wearing like a thicker, more like grungy, edgy boot with the dress. It's more practical, comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's just more realistic for me, especially when the outside is just not nice. And to finish off, I've just added this burgundy bag from TK Maxx. And I really like the rope detailing, especially on the, the strap that goes over your arm. It has a nice um, lighter shade of red with like a more purpley mix of burgundy. So it's a really nice color and I feel like it does blend really nicely with the outfit. It's, they're not quite the same colors, but they do, when you look at it, it's just very harmonious and very balanced. So this is another outfit inspiration try Go monochromatic. You can't really go wrong with that, to be fair. This next outfit is one that I really like. I've worn this out recently to dinner, actually. It's just super comfortable. So this mini skirt is a new in from TK Maxx, because that's where I'll be going lately. <laughs> it's very affordable. And I got this to replace my satin mini skirts, because I had I decluttered two recently, the black one and another lip print one, because they, just, they just didn't fit the same way anymore. So this one, um, I love the burgundy prints, like the the burgundy red and the black and also like a lighter shade of pink. It's just a really ni nice colour, if in my opinion. <laughs> so it's very easy to pair with black because the black already has this, um, the skirt already has black in it. Paired it with this red tank or top from Zara that I've had for years now, but recently it's been getting a lot more wear. 
and I finish off with this crop jacket from Cuz. I absolutely love this crop jacket. It's, it fits really nicely. It's got like a nice boxy fit and it's just, it's really, it keeps you warm as well, to be fair. It's not a, like a thinner fabric. So I definitely want a few more in different colors, like crop style jackets, what maybe like brighter colors. And then I finished off with my suede boots that I got from Clarks. These I've had for over five years and I just bring them out yearly. So really good quality. They've lasted me for a long time. And suede actually is funny enough on trend, but for me, these things are classic. So I don't really know what they mean by trend, but suede's been in my wardrobe forever. And I just paired it with a underarm bag, a plain black underarm bag from H&M. And this is the fit. Very, very simple, very cute for a nice coffee day. You can switch out the heels if you want to wear flats and you can run your errands or pop to like dinner or something. So a very versatile look, very, very much me. So this next outfit is one that I really like. I have worn this out previously to dinner and it's just super comfy. It's very business casual. The blazer just kind of smartens up the look, especially with the waistcoat. It's just kind of giving me like a two piece set. So this is a great way I would tone down like a red piece if I didn't want it to be too loud or too bright. Just pair it with like a maybe a neutral color like this gray. This is on the warmer side. So this um, blazer is part of a suit actually yeah i realized i'm wearing two suits so the the vest is part of a cord set that i got from primark and i'll insert some videos where i style them up in multiple different ways here the checkered blazer is actually part of a suit that i got from h&m i think the previous year and um i bring out this blazer a lot because it just it's just autumn and it pairs nicely with so many different things so this is how i would tone it down a little bit as for the rest of the outfit, these jeans are from Mango. These are the sort of distressed hem. So yeah, it gives that sort of edgy factor and the wide leg. Now for accessories, in case you do want to do bright and bold and you just want to kind of chuck a little bit of the color in there, you can just do with the accessories like this belt, the burgundy belt from Primark and these ankle boots. Also similar, pretty much the same color actually. It's like a nice deep burgundy, maroon, brown. I think I'm getting the burgundy color wrong. It's more like a deep aubergine. Is that how you call it? I don't know. Regardless, it's a great way to just chuck, uh, to kind of dip your toe into that color if you're not like a big colorful person. But girl, I ain't gonna do that. I, I, the brighter the better. <laughs> so yeah, so we're matching the shoes to the belt and I feel like it just coordinates nicely. As for the bag, I just went with the red bag again because it adds a nice pop, um, a nice pop of red. So lots of reds here paired with like these brownie shades. Brownie? <laughs> what is going on? So this is the next outfit. I really like it. It's very casual, smart, comfy. And one that I think I could probably wear from the office to drinks. What do you think? Maybe no? Yeah? <laughs> With that being said, let's move into the next outfit. All right, this next fit is definitely one of my favorites. I love this outfit formula. It's giving me 70s, it's giving me grandpa chic, and I'm not mad, I'm so here for it. So I kept the same bottom half, so the same denim jeans from Mango, the same boots that I thrifted, and I even got the belt on as well. I'm wearing this shirt oversized just because I really wanted to be casual, very laid back, and very much like unbothered. But, you know, like model of duty, but I still look stylish kind of look. <laughs> so the oversized shirt is from H&M and I like this one because it's a thicker material. So it's great for this time of the year. And I just added my waistcoat on top. I thrifted this in Italy, I think almost two years now. Wow, it's been a while. And I'm very surprised how much I reach for this grandpa um, <laughs> waistcoat. Like, I reach for it so often. It just adds that personality, the extra layer, some interest. And the colours, they are they do have the burgundy, the greens, the sort of very autumnal colours. Pretty much on trend right now. <laughs> and I paired it with my Baker Boy hat from TK Maxx, this brown one, the coffee colour. Um, really, really cute. And this one's really warm, actually. So when it gets a bit cooler, oh my God, I'm going to be reaching for this quite often. And I just added my burgundy underarm bag from TK Maxx just to kind of complete the look. Again, I'm going for relaxed, like unbothered, undone. I don't need it to look too prim and popper. 
but it's giving me 70s, it's giving me like style. I, I don't know, I love this look. It's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> Nothing fancy about it. It's really just a white top and jeans, but it's all about the styling and all about details to make a look. Yeah, so yeah. Well, that means that let's move into some more outfit inspo. This next outfit is one that I really like. <laughs> It's actually my first time styling up this skirt that I got from TK Maxx. Again, I swear I'm not sponsored by them. I just, <laughs> I happened to pick up a few pieces from them. So this skirt is just, I love it. It's just a nice pencil skirt, but it's a denim pencil skirt. It's got a split at the back, which is quite convenient, especially when you're walking. So it gives you, you know, room to, <laughs> to maneuver. And then I just kind of went for like a monochromatic, you know, matching cream turtleneck top from H&M this is just a regular basic I got this a few years ago and I sort of sandwiched it with a belt the same burgundy type belt from Primark with the gold buckle and I went for my brown boots I think these are also from Clark's and I've had these for a couple of years now and they're very strong and sturdy and I feel like they just kind of really complete the look so this is quite a modest look I think and the star of the show, the statement is this jacket that I thrifted. I thrifted this almost two years ago at Saturday London, I think, in Hertfordshire, I think. I can't remember. Well, it was a vintage pop-up shop. And I got two things, and this was one of them, and I've loved it ever since. Like I said, <laughs> when I see those 90s TV program like Freshman's Ballet or one of them, can't think of any more, <laughs> they often was wearing some, some of these, like, tops. And it just looks so retro and funky to me. So I've always been drawn to them. And every year I bring this out. And I feel like it doesn't need to be too much. So a nice even base. Um, nothing fancy going on. And then this just kind of adds that pack a lot punch. I can either go with the same burgundy bag. Or I can just go with a brown underarm bag. Also thrifted to kind of just complete the look. So we're playing with... Um, burgundies, browns, and all the very much earthy tones here. I mean, this whole video is like a lot of earthy tones, but they do really go well with burgundy. Burgundy pairs really nicely with earth tone colors, also like pinks and, and other shades as well. So, but I can definitely see myself wearing this out a lot because it's just super comfy, super modest, and also very chic. And I feel pretty stylish in this. So that's another outfit idea. And with that being said, let's move into the next one so this outfit here is all about the color combinations i've shown you lots of um pairing different shades of red or even burgundies but this time i want to show you some colors that goes really nicely with reds and burgundies like such um like pinks and like blues these colors gel really nicely so what i'm wearing right now this dress is thrifted i got it i think maybe over a year and a bit ago and it is a sheer fabric so i normally have to pair something underneath hence why i typically wear this more like in the fall autumn times because it's just easier for layering i pair this jumper on top now we're speaking about layering this is from two clothing from the sainsbury's line and girl if you're new here, you would have seen this for the first time. But if you're not, you know I'll be bringing out this bright pink jumper all the time. I just love the shade of pink. I get all, I always get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this shade of pink. And um, I nip and tuck a little bit on the waist to kind of give me some shape and, you know, enhance the silhouette a bit. But what I love is how nicely the bag in the bag pairs with these, these colours. Uh, the, the pink jumper is quite bright and the blue is a lot more subdued so it's not competing for attention and the brown boots or maroon aubergine whatever color these brown boots are flows it gels really nicely with the outfit rather than pairing it with like a nice dark black that will stand out too much a nice shade of brown or like really really um deep shade of burgundy really really works well with this outfit so i just want you to think about different colors if you don't want to be pairing like really big and bold like red or burgundies you can just you know add a little subtle <laughs> subtle colors such as this but i'm not here to be subtle so this channel no 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 we're not trying to be subtle here <laughs> in this one i want to be shiny you know like with this pink 
So this is the outfit. I really like it. It's super, super comfy. It's giving me granny chic. Yeah, I know I love my granny chic styles. <laughs> as long as it's comfy, chic and cozy, you know, colorful, all these words, I'm good to go. So this is the final outfit. If you found this video helpful, do give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Hit that subscribe button, girl. And if you want more outfit inspiration, check out these two videos here. In the meantime, you can find all the links to the outfits and stuff in the description box. As usual, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in these videos right here. Bye.